Well, I've got the uh, feathers all sitting in the uh, freezer right now. That's to make them stiffer and harder to, to damage when I attach them to the headdress. And uh, I'm going to be doing that after I do a few things here first. I've got to uh, clean up areas like uh, here and underneath his arm there. And I've got to do the belt because if I don't do it now, I won't be able to do it once I put the uh, the uh, rest of the headdress on. I'm also going to put a, a bow quiver on his back. Um, not sure if I'm going to put the bow in his hand. Um, just going to have to figure that out as I go along here. Time to play with some clay. Not totally happy with his leg, but it's getting there. It's just little tweaks I've got to do before I can, you know, really make it impossible to work on this part of the, the clay. And that's to get these things that need to be done now done. Because once I put the feathers on, it's going to be impossible to. Uh, finalize these areas. I made a decision when I did this sculpture not to put clothes on him except his loincloth. And uh, I like that decision. It makes it harder for me because I've got to be a little more accurate in my anatomy. which is fine. Normally if I was going to put clothes on them I wouldn't worry about the anatomy as much as I do right now. I put the uh, train on to see where I need to pay attention I'm going to have to pay attention more around here and down and inside there. I haven't put his arm back against his uh, body yet because I got to work on that belt. So that's what I'm going to basically be doing today. They're going to be showing my house at 2 o'clock. It's 10 now. That's 11, 12, 1. So I got three and a half hours before I have to leave the house. I'm going to go up to my friend Todd's house to uh, see the painting he's working on right now. He's been doing a portrait of his dad who passed away about a little over a year ago. And it's an incredible portrait. I did a bronze bust of him. He asked me to do that and I did. I was just looking at uh, reference material on uh, bow quivers and uh, this is a Cheyenne uh, bow quiver. This is where the bow goes in right here and of course the arrows go in here. Although it looks like they got the arrows and the bow in one so this is something that was posted on I got it off of Google and uh, it's obviously photographed by somebody who has no idea what they got. This is uh, Michael Terry. Uh, he's posing 
back in 2001 on his property. The first time I, well, second time I hired him to be an Indian model. And he's wearing a bow quiver. There's no beadwork on it. There's just trade cloth uh, trimming on the one end and on the top end of the uh, bow quiver, which he has the bow in his hand right here, and that's why the quiver is uh, flaccid. But I did notice that his feathered uh, arrows are far more exposed than uh, I've got them, so I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to cut the uh, can never find my rag when I want it. Oh, shoot. I don't have one here. I must have thrown it in the laundry. Anyway. Well, I put that together good. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And I think I got too many, too many arrows in here because it looks like he's just got a few arrows in his uh, quiver. So I'm gonna reduce the size of that a little bit. And also trim off a little bit too. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do those feathers on the uh, end. Gotta keep it all casting friendly. I'm not going to attempt to put them on every arrow, but just enough to make it look like all of them have feathered ends to them. This is what puts it out of the price range of everybody that would love to have a bronze but can't afford the uh, cost. And that's sad. I'd like to be able to cast for everybody. But it makes it impossible to do that. I'm gonna make now. I'm gonna make the uh, empty bow quiver. I'm gonna have the bow in his hand. This hand up here on the rock. Okay. What I'm deciding to do is to put the bow in the quiver. And the only reason I'm doing that is because it'll be a lot easier for them to cast. 
you don't have to have a string on it too. So I'm gonna cut off a length of uh, copper wire that will act as the uh, quiver. I mean a bow. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work out great. All right, what I'm doing now is I'm putting uh, brass discs on his uh, belt. I was going to do small tacks, but I got to thinking that's going to cost a lot to cast because they've got to clean out the uh, ceramic mold from the bronze casting from every friggin uh, tack that I put on his belt. Alright, I'm going to put the uh, bow quiver on. just going to have that rest right there. And on the strap. We'll attach this to it.
And the feathers are quite frozen. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Okay, freezing them probably wasn't the best idea because <laughs> they don't want to stick. I'm just going underneath here, I think so. Well, both cameras quit on me, and I'm just filming with what little battery powder power I have left right now. Both cameras wiped out on battery, and uh, I'm working on fumes on the other camera right now. I just don't know if this is going to work. It's too complicated. It's it's going to be nearly impossible to cast. I gotta work this out. Anyways, not everything works. I mean, you, you try it and and you see how it looks and uh, it may not work and so it, it's worth a try. I'll figure something out. I'll talk to you guys later. Next time. It's gonna be probably a couple of days before I get back because I've got a lot of things I gotta do. I gotta get ready for my show this weekend. All right, good night everybody. Still don't know what the hell I'm going to call it. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.